doing the uh, Beachburg trails today. Probably head over to uh, the brewery trails if, uh, if I have a chance, if I have time. So let's go check that out. Okay, so the Beachburg trails are located just beside the town of Beachburg right here in this forest patch right here. And the Little Lakes Trail is right here. So if you're coming from Ottawa, it's about an hour and a half west of Ottawa. And it's in between the towns of Renfrew, right there, and then Pembroke, just a little bit north. So if you're coming from Ottawa, you take the 417 Trans Canada and just get off at the uh, Forester Falls exit and it'll bring you right to the uh, trailhead. If you're coming from the Quebec side, go by Shawville and then cross at Potaz Fall. And you can take a couple little side roads here and again, it'll bring you out to that uh, patch of forest and then you can park there. Uh, it's actually a pretty scenic drive if you take that way, so I, I highly recommend it if you're coming from the Quebec side. Okay, so this is what the uh, trail network looks like. Here's the parking right here. So keep in mind this place is flat. There's really not that much elevation change. You do get a little bit of elevation change on the back end here on V-Tree, but again, it's uh, it's fairly flat, so you're gonna be doing a lot of pedaling. This place is reminiscent of LaRose Forest, and it's uh, got some patches of like cultivated pine areas. So the first trail we take is called Mark My Word. It's a 4.5 kilometer loop, then that leads into V-Tree, and it's 2.5, so figure you're gonna be doing about seven kilometers, and budget about 45 minutes to do that at a fairly decent clip. So, Without further ado, let's go see what that looks like. flat but it, it's got flow to it some very small elevation changes but what I expected you have to uh, watch your pedals because there's uh, stumps on the side too so don't let your pedals drag or hang or anything easy to get some pedal strikes So you just cross here and then re-enter right here on the left. So that last section was pretty tight and closed off. This one looks a little more open. Let's see how it goes.
remember if you want to see the full length version of this trail loop there'll be a link in the description and a link at the end of this video okay so that whole section was uh total bust i think they're doing uh forestation or something and uh there's just branches everywhere the trail is in pretty rough shape really hard to tell where you're going they have it marked off with pink ribbons though but it's still uh it's still pretty rough so it wasn't too good and i'm just making my way back to the parking lot now all right so you may have noticed that there's a connector here on the road that leads to the uh, little lakes trail but it brings it to you um backwards and also you'd have to uh bike it bike back and then bike the whole trail all the way back so what i did is i just uh took off took the road here and then i parked down here at this little uh parking area and what i did is i just uh, took the road up and then i hit little lakes trail directionally correct if you will yeah, I, I, I like this trail. I find it's pretty much the same as what's going on over here. But uh, for whatever reason, it just seemed to have a little bit more flow. It was like the slightest bit more elevation change. And I just had a little more fun on uh, this trail, Little Lakes Trail. So I think uh, if I came back to this area, I'd probably uh, focus on this one and do that one again. But let's go see what that looks like. If you want to see the full length version of this little lakes trail there'll be a link in the description and a link at the end of the video i suggest checking it out because there's a lot of cool sections that i had to kind of cut for time so um it, it's a pretty cool trail if you check that full length version out it'll give you a good idea of the different sections of the trail and the flow so i'd, I'd recommend checking it out
Go on.